Our terrain has come a very long way. Um, it's really starting to look beautiful. So I want to show it off. How best to show it off? Create a cutscene, create a recording of that cutscene. So I am going to start off using the Pegasus path that we used before. Here we see the beginning of the uh, of the fly through. What we want to do is capture this at uh, 60 frames per second. So how can we do that? Well, fortunately, there are a number of tools we can use, and I've played with quite a few of them. The one I find the easiest to use, and nicely the cheapest, is um, Unity's Recorder Pro. Now, you get Recorder Pro from the Package Manager. So you go to Window, Package Manager, search for Recorder, and here you get it. Unity Recorder, sorry, not Recorder Pro, Unity Recorder. Now, something to note, it is preview. You have to click Advanced and click Show Preview Packages. So, once that's installed, you go to Window, General, Recorder, Recorder Window. And that brings up this window. I'm going to dock it over here. And it's really simple, unlike many of the tools that are out there. I want a constant frame rate and I want it at 60 frames per second, and I don't want it to go above that. I want it constant, 60 frames a second. So then you click Add New Recorders, and I want it as a movie, and uh, I'm going to use the MP4 format. You need to select the right uh, place to put this. Uh, I have it going into my project directory, into the record it, Recordings folder, and then you need to give it a file name. Now, I like to use the wild cards here and say use the scene name and the take number so this will be my first take you can see the template here it's going to say I'm I am no artist uh, I take zero one uh, so capture wise you can choose to have the game view um, or you can choose to have uh, a 360 degree view, which I have not yet played with, but I most certainly will be. I'm going to go with targeted camera here, and you can use active camera. So if you've got a cutscene which is switching cameras, this will pick that up for you. So I'm going to leave it on that. I want the output resolution to be 1440, and you can have a quality. We're going to go with high quality here. There's one more thing you need to do which is specific to um, my use of Pegasus and that's that I want a constant frame rate of 60 frames per second so I want to make sure that Pegasus is also moving along its path at 60 frames per second otherwise what can happen is because of the difference between what you're recording and the actual playback speed of, of Pegasus you can end up with um, taking shortcuts on the path which can result in you going through buildings and things like that. So to set that up you click advanced and then you can go to frame rate and say I want a consistent 60 frames per second. And then once you've done all that all you have to do is click start recording. Now this will play through the Pegasus fly through um, you'll notice when you're doing this, we'll leave it running for a little while so you can see it, that performance looks pretty terrible. And the reason for that is that um, we're actually rendering this, in this case, at uh, 1440p uh, and compiling it into a video at the same time as showing this on the screen here. So consider what you see as a preview. Uh, and it will take a lot longer to render the complete video uh, because of this doing it frame by frame but the results are definitely worth it as you will see shortly we'll fast forward the video here and then we'll come back and look at the end result okay so our render has now finished and we can very quickly take a look at that render by clicking the button here next to the title it's opened it up on the, another screen so i just drag that down so you see we have the file and if we open it up we should see a buttery smooth 60 frames per second fully textured fully light mapped actually this light mapping is real time I haven't yet baked the lighting for this scene but what we see is our beautiful terrain really starting to come to life so there you have it 
we are now ready to record our masterpiece and start turning it into a cutscene. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I have a few other things that I want to do for the environment itself. Next up, I think I'm going to add some bird life into the scene and maybe tune the, uh, the fly through a little bit as well so we're not doing things like that looking at the floor. Bye bye.